What's going on YouTube? I'm Flows back with another reaction video and today we're gonna be checking out Linkin Park Nobody Can Save Me. Uh, this song is from their album, um, the One More Light album, which is their last album they recorded. I'm excited to check this out, man. A lot of people have been telling me that this is a very, very beautiful album and a very different album. So I'm excited to check this one out for that reason alone. And also, man, because I'm really looking forward to checking out the tribute concert uh, for Chester. Uh, the reason I haven't done the tribute concert, even though a lot of people have asked me, is because I really wanted to go through all their albums first. That way, no songs are spoiled for me, you know what I mean? But with that being said, the tribute concert will be happening here on YouTube Live. Um, and we will be doing it maybe like on Saturday or so, the day right before Mother's Day. But guys... Do me a favor, slap that like button if you're fans of Linkin Park. And also, let me know your favorite song from the One More Light album down in the comments below, guys. Your boy is back. Your boy is back with the LP reactions. And let's get right into this video. Bye. Alright, guys. So, we have the Genius lyrics pulled up, alright? So we're going to be breaking down the lyrics like always. See, this channel is different, man. We don't just listen to the music. We listen to the music and break the lyrics down and bring in like real life meaning to it, man. So without further ado, let's let's go ahead and get it, man. Linkin Park, Nobody Can Save Me, the official audio. God. Head first hallucination. I wanna fall wide awake now. You tell me it's alright. Tell me I'm forgiven tonight. I got I gotta pause it real quick and we'll go back. First of all, please, 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 is this chest? Yo, that has to be Chester singing, man. It's so beautiful. The way it's being sung, it's like really, really fucking, uh, how do you say this, man? It's like very clean vocal. The very clean vocal, no, like, uh, it, it's amazing singing. It's amazing singing. Like, and then let's talk about the beginning of the song, too, how it started with that, like, uh, like that little high pitched, like, type of, like, chipmunk type of vocal and the way the track started. Definitely, definitely, I, um, me being a hip-hop fan, I love the way that started because that definitely could be used for a sample. But let's talk about what he said. I'm dancing with my demons. I'm hanging off the edge. Chester struggled with depression, alcoholism, drug addiction previous to recording of this album. He recalls con contemplating suicide, stuck on the dark, thoughts that kept him awake at night or dancing with his demons. These thoughts leaving him feeling like he's, he's in. He is on a cliff hanging off the edge. And contemplating the abyss. Um, I mean, it kind of, if you think about it, it does describe what depression is like, right? So think about it like this. You're like in this tall ass building, right? And you're literally about to walk off the edge, right? And it's like, just picture a tall ass building, dark, raining, and you're literally standing on the edge of the building, contemplating whether you're going to jump or not. That's what depression really feels like. It's not like the walk there, but it's literally being at the end of the edge, wanting to just take that extra step and just fucking end it all. Um, and as we know, man, um, rest in peace, Chester, man, and let's make Chester proud. Um, this song has me goosebumps right now, bro, and I'm about to get teary-eyed, so I'm going to stop talking about depression and shit right now and just keep it going, man. Because if not, I'm going to fucking just cry on, on, on this video. Me. 
Okay, hold on. I got to talk about that. He said in the chorus, but nobody can save me now. I'm holding up a light. I'm chasing out the darkness inside because nobody can save me. Before I read the, the whole genius thing, I am going to say this. To me, what it's basically saying is that nobody can really save him but himself is what I guess he's going for. And that's that's true to a way. You know what I mean? Like when you're an addict and when you're this and that, like, yeah, you kind of rely on others for support. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. It's up to you to really fight it. And because nobody's going to fight as hard as nobody's going to fight as hard for you as you can fight for yourself. Um, that's how I see it. Right. So like if you're depressed, yeah, obviously reach out to people, uh, try to talk to them and things like that to help you and support you. But at the end of the day, you have to find it within you to really fight for yourself. You know what I mean? And it, it kind of, it's kind of hard because when you're depressed, you kind of don't want to fight for yourself. So you're stuck in that, like, do I fight for myself? Do I not? And then you're stuck in that depression phase. But here it says Chester has realized that he is the only one that can help him to get out of the place that he's at. Just like I said. He will also have to overcome the difficulties on his own. One More Light has a recurring theme of fighting your demons as seen on the lead single, Heavy. Um, holding up a light and chasing out the darkness inside makes reference to fighting your way out of the rock bottom. He knows that the only way to get through the rough times is by directly handling problems by yourself, by taking action instead of waiting them out while you suffer. He clarifies that no one will help him. Nobody can save me. So he needs to make this journey on his own. Everybody has their own story and, when no, and no one would ever tell you how to live your life. You must try your best and get yourself out of the situations that you are placed at. I really enjoy that lyric and the explanation because, again, you really think about it, man. Like, nobody's going to fight harder for you than you're going to fight for yourself. And there's people out there, including myself, that choose to ignore a problem rather than face it head on. And when you choose to ignore a problem, that problem is not going to go away. It's just going to get harder and harder. So I'm loving this this song right here. I'm loving the lyrics and the message to it, like right off bat. I'm going to tell you that straight up. Oh, there's a little breakdown right here. Okay. I wanna fall wide away. Watch the ground give in way now. You tell me it's all right. Tell me I'm forgiven. Tonight, tonight. Nobody can save me now. I'm holding up a lie. Okay, real quick, we've been talking a lot about the lyrics in this song, but let's let's not forget how great Chester sounds right here, man. Honestly, and I'm just being honest, I know Chester in previous songs would do like like a lot of crazy shit with his vocals where he held that, I think it was like a, a 17 second scream that he did, um, and he held that. But he's done a lot of crazy shit with his vocals, but honestly, controlling wise and vocal control and... And things like that. I feel like this is probably the best I've heard Chester sound. In all honesty. As far as like like just singing. Like if you really pay attention to the vocals and everything, man. Like he's really controlling those vocals. And I feel as far as like vocal control, this has been his very best. Um, He's not doing too crazy shit out there. He's not doing too little, right? So it's just right for me, man. I'm loving this. Oh 
only I can save me. The way he did that, I like he's oh bro, I can't sing, but I can appreciate a fucking vocal, man. Yo, man, let's get a rest in peace, Chester, in the comments, bro. This song right here, I'm so I'm I'm kind of mad that they didn't make a music video for it, but I'm also kind of glad. The reason I'm mad that they didn't make a music video is because I love Linkin Park and I, I would love to see the vision of the song come to life in a music video. Um, but I feel like if they were to put this song in a music video, it would have been very, very sad. And I most likely would have fucking teared the fuck up on the song. Oh my God, guys, that was Nobody Can Save Me by Linkin Park, uh, Chester on the vocals, um, again, man, again, beautiful message, message-wise, 10 out of 10, man, because, like, a lot of you guys know, man, a lot of you guys actually suffer from this as well, man, and it's depression, man, a lot of people, like, people don't even know that they suffer from depression just because, one, like, they're not, like, properly diagnosed, two, they don't want to be diagnosed, three, they just think that they're tough and they cannot be depressed, but I honestly do believe that everyone in this world has a bit of depression inside them, um, most, some have most than the others, but I, I know a lot of people can relate to this, man, I myself can, this song right here was the best song that I feel like it could start the album with, I, message-wise, again, man, beautiful, beautiful message, like, and something that I can relate to, man. So 10 out of 10 on the message. Um, this was actually produced by John Green, Brad Delson, and Mike Shinoda. So shout out to them because the song was beautifully created. And in that very beginning, how they started off with that like weird looking vo weird sounding vocal. That was perfect. The fact that they only put it just in the beginning and not throughout the song. Definitely, definitely amazing. I, I gotta give this song a 10 out of 10, man. Two fucking thumbs up. Uh if this is what the one more light album is gonna be like, bro, I'm really really looking forward to the next songs guys let me know what you guys thought about this song down in the comments below can you relate to it can you not do you know somebody suffering from depression if you do help them out slap that like button subscribe to me on all my social medias you'll find them down there below and also in the description don't forget i do have a discord channel guys you guys can join discord it's free it is down in the description we like to chat up talk about everything and yeah it's the best way to get in contact with me and talk to me live man so definitely check that out and i'll see you guys next time with another one